you go and sit in the auditoria, first few scenes and said, this is it, he's going to do this. When the last scene came, something totally different happened. Then you come out and say, wow, what a wonderful movie. What you're saying is, if all your predictions go wrong, it's wonderful. So don't try to match fix your life. Namaskaram Sadhguru, my name is Muskan Bafna. And my question to you is that many times in life, we face situations where we don't know what next. We don't know what is going on right now. We are completely blacked out. And at that point of time, our friends, our parents, we are given this one suggestion, be positive. But oh. when I don't know what's going on, how do I be positive? And at that time, clarity seems more important than positivity. So how do we place the two? So what they're calling it as positive is uh, confidence. Have confidence, don't worry. Confidence without clarity is a disaster. Yes. If you cannot see clearly, at least you must be hesitant. If you're confident, you're going to walk into something. By chance you may escape sometimes, but what comes your way you don't know. So it's not about being positive, negative. The important thing is, at this stage in your life, you just focus on enhancing this life. Don't worry about what it will yield. You should not worry about what this life is going to yield. What it yields depends on times in which we are, many other aspects of life. But if this is an enhanced life, it will yield something worthwhile. Doesn't matter what it yields, who knows, maybe you won't become an artist, maybe you will become an engineer, maybe you will become a doctor, maybe you will become something else, who the hell cares? As long as you enhance this life, something worthwhile will come out of it. What will happen in the end? What will happen in the end? The same thing. In the end, as we told you, this happened. A hardcore criminal was given death sentence in America, Ele death by electric chair. So, always the priest comes in the end. And uh, the priest came and said, My son, just tell me what do you want me to do? Whatever you wish, I will do. A very unrepentant convict said, Father, when they pull the plunger, please hold my hand. <laughs> So, very positive <laughs> There are various ways to look at this. I had a nasty joke, I'm trying to da scale it down so that uh, it fits into the institution <laughs> See, When I don't know what is future, that's a very insightful statement because nobody knows what is the future. Do you know what's going to happen in the next five minutes? No. No, Sadhguru, my astrologer… Well, does your astrologer know what is going to happen in the next ten minutes of his life? Does he know? No. He does not know ten minutes of his life, but he knows your entire life. It's a fantastic thing, you know. So, you don't know future, isn't that a great thing, fortunately? Suppose you know your entire future, would you not want to commit suicide right now? Huh? Isn't it wonderful? that in spite of all your brains, you can't figure what is next moment. Hello? Isn't it wonderful? Have you ever seen a suspense thriller movie? Have you? See, right now there's a very wonderful, wonderful suspense thriller in the local theater. None of you have seen it. 
I have seen it. Shall I tell you the story? Yes. <laughs> okay, the whole story is going to take too much time, so I'll just tell you the last suspense part of it, okay? <laughs> Shall I? No. Why? Because suspense means like this, you go and see the poster, oh, this guy's… I think he's going to do this, that guy's going to do that, or oh, this director, most probably this how it's going to go. Then you go inside, see all those still images, then you say, definitely this guy is going to do this, that guy is going to do this, all kinds of projections. You go and sit in the auditorium, first few scenes and said, this is it, he's going to do this but he did something different. Then you said he's going to do that and he did something different. You said this is going to happen and something else happened. Halfway down the movie you discuss with your friend, last scene is definitely like this. When the last scene came, something totally different happened. Then you come out and say, wow, what a wonderful movie, yes? You went there, sat, you saw the first scene, and you said, this is what is going to happen, and that's what happened in the last scene, as it happens in most movies. Then you come out and said, this is no good, isn't it? So essentially what you're saying is, if all your predictions go wrong, it's wonderful. If all your predictions come true, it's no good. Then I'm asking, what's wrong with your life? Your life is fantastic. You can predict whatever, it all goes wrong, goes wrong, goes wrong. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Only problem is, you lost your ability to enjoy the suspense, that's your only problem. Yes? You want to know the end. You're a match fixer. <laughs> yes? You're a match fixer. You want to know the end before you play the game. Match fixer or no? Today it's a crime in this country, match-fixing, you know <laughs> So don't try to match-fix your life. Let's see what the hell happens, <laughs> Whatever happens, you came here with nothing, you'll go with nothing, so what the hell? The only thing is, did you make your life's experience profound enough, intense enough? That's all there is. What's there to happen? So what will happen tomorrow? What will happen tomorrow? I'll give you a simple thing. The best thing about life is tomorrow never happens. Yes? If you just know how to deal with what's now, you know how to deal with your entire life. This moment if you know how to manage your thought, your emotion and your body, rest drama outside happens. But if this is like this, this will be joyful and wonderful no matter what's the drama around you, <laughs> yes? Oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Yes, all those things can happen. But you came here to experience life, not to avoid life, isn't it? Are we sure? Are we sure? You want to right now go into the museum? No, no, no. Oh, you're misunderstanding my question, you're art students <laughs> No, no, I'm not asking you to go for a visit in the museum, I'm… as an artifact, do you want to go into the museum right now yourself? No, this is the time to live. To live means you don't know what the hell is tomorrow, anything. Either you must be excited about it or you can be fearful about it. You're fearful about it because you already fixed what should happen. You're afraid what you think may not happen. But first of all, I'm asking you, why are you thinking what should happen? If you're dedicated to the process, depending upon what process we are doing, accordingly life will unfold tomorrow. Yes? There are many dimensions to it. If you explore all of it, if you just explore your biology, life will happen one way. In the sense, if you take charge of your physical self, your body, fifteen to twenty percent of your life and destiny will happen the way you want it. If you take charge of your mind, your thought and emotion, 
fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will happen the way you want it. If you take charge of your life energies, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will happen the way you want it. This is a choice you have.